The big 6'6 six, six West Tennessean walking down the street must really <laughs> turn some heads in that part of the world, huh? It's a weird thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They go, like, what is that? <laughs> As you leave here, you head to the Opry stage. What what did you play for? What kind of money were you making in the first gigs you played? Uh, whatever we was going to make that night. It Playing was all tips, the door. Really? It the, was the door. I mean, we, we would go into, say, an American Legion Hall or a Moose Lodge or, uh, you know, one of those beer joints. And we'd say, hey, who runs this outfit? You know, I knew most of them <laughs> because most of them were people I went to you know, school with or whatever. And I'd say, uh, we'll advertise for one week. We'll pay for the front advertising. And this weekend, Friday and Saturday night, we take the door. And sometimes they'd try to cut a percentage. I, didn't, I wouldn't do it. I, I said, no, you'll make plenty of money right back there at that bar, a whole lot more than what you would make, and we'll take the door. And we'd split it four or five ways, however many band members there were. And we worked up to some gigs where we were taking home three or $400 a piece with a six-piece mm -hmm. band. So, I mean, you know, it took a while, though, to... But it wasn't much money, not back then. I had my first songwriting gig. I made 150 a week, and that paid for my food and gas to make. You know, I had to make that five-day round. I went, you know, Muscle Shoals, Nashville, back to Savannah, Tennessee. It was this kind of thing. So it was an intense cycle for about five years. As Willie Nelson once sang. You got your education in the cities of the nation. That's right. Remember that in Me yes. and Paul? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see me, Daryl. Thanks for having me, man. It's great talking to you. Daryl Worley, Bill Cody. We're at the Grand Ole Opry House on GAC's Master Series. <laughs>